Well, we reported that loud boom breaking news last night at 11 o'clock on News Center 7, and I actually heard it in the weather office. So I was digging into the science behind it and as to why we could possibly hear the sound of that loud boom so far from the central location. So when we look at our, our land geographically, we don't have a lot of mountains and valleys. Even though we're considered the Miami Valley, we don't have these large mountain ranges, and that can actually allow the sound wave to reach much further than if you lived out in perhaps Colorado or along the Rockies, where maybe the mountain would actually block that sound from traveling much further. Also, as far as last night's conditions, I told you at 11 o'clock I wasn't seeing an inversion, but I talked with the National Weather Service at Wilmington, and they said they could see that there was a very shallow layer of warm air that was forming right around 10 p.m., so it was very small and hard to detect. But what an inversion does is you create this very shallow warm layer above a cold uh, pool that's right at the surface. And what happens when you have uh, loud noises, it can get caught within that inversion and basically it creates a bouncing of the sound waves. We talk about that a lot with rolling thunder in the springtime. So perhaps that allowed the sound to travel much further away than its original source. If you happen to hear that loud boom last night, we want to hear from you. You can send us a message on Facebook, Twitter, or even over on Instagram, as well as sending us some emails.